Despite Americans still trapped in Afghanistan, President Biden says the 20 years of war are now over. After 20 years of war in Afghanistan, I refuse to send another generation of America's sons and daughters to fight a war that should have ended long ago. My fellow Americans, the war in Afghanistan is now over. Pennsylvania Congressman Fred Keller says our mission in Afghanistan isn't over until every American is safely home. And he joins me now. Congressman, thanks for being here. A lot of people share that sentiment, but a lot of people questioning how is that going to happen? Well, Jillian, the, the first thing I'd like to say is, uh, you know, our thoughts and prayers are with those who lost loved ones uh, in last week's attacks on, on America, because that's what it was when they attacked our soldiers. And the point I want to make is our military did not fail. Our soldiers, our brave young Absolutely. men and women did not fail. President Biden failed. And it's a pattern of his leadership. When you look at Russia sitting in Alaska lecturing us, or excuse me, China sitting in Alaska lecturing us, on human rights and Blinken sitting there taking it. And then we can't have American pipelines, we can have Russian pipelines. And we cede control of our southern border to the Mexican cartels and don't protect Americans within the inside the United States. What did President Biden think the Taliban was gonna do? What do you think they thought of us? Only a person, only a person that's been in Washington, D.C. as long as Joe Biden and his administration could call dead American service members, uh, an operation that resulted in that, resulted in other injuries, resulted in over 100,000 refugees, and armed an enemy who is terrorist, a terrorist government with more armaments than 85% of the nations on the face of the earth, and he tries to call that a success? Yeah. It, 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 I don't know what he's trying to peddle. Look, history might and I'm, I'm sure at some point it will look back at this and say it was right to withdraw. A lot of people, even a lot of our veterans, say it was time to get out of Afghanistan. But the question is, how will history look back at how this was done? Exactly. And, and that's the point you make. There, there was no plan. Uh, there was no plan. And, and the president knew that there were problems there because he had that conversation with the president of Afghanistan over a month ago. Okay, and, and it's, it, let's stop worrying about perception and let's start putting America first. There is nothing wrong with that. He is supposed to be president of the United States. And I know when he was campaigning, he said, I'll be president of America. I'll be president if people didn't even vote for me. Well, let's turn it out to be true. He's president of South America, Central America. Uh, the people that didn't vote for him are coming across our southern border. I tell you what, it's time to stand up for America. It's time for the president to lead from a position of strength, because that's the only thing the Taliban and our adversaries understand. And I tell you what, I think our allies would appreciate that also. Yeah, it's, it's a lot of questions, you know, how we're going to repair damage that has been done uh, on the world stage with our allies, and that's yet to be seen. In the meantime, I want to talk about what's going on in your state, because Pennsylvania issues mask mandates for schools. Uh, we can go ahead and pull up here a graphic that shows cases among children in the U.S. and you'll see uh, 5 to 11 years old, 4.5 percent, 12 to 15, 3.9 percent. Uh, and then we can pull up a map here of the states that have school mask mandates. What is your reaction to this? Well, the first thing I would say to, to about Governor Wolf's uh, mandate here is that uh, in Pennsylvania, we have school districts who are elected uh, our, our school board members, we have county, we have municipal governments, and we have a general assembly. If one person were to, was designed, if our commonwealth was designed to be run by one person, we wouldn't have these political subdivisions. We wouldn't have representatives. These are not Tom Wolf's children. These children are not property of the state. These children are their parents' children and their parents elected local officials to help make these decisions. And Governor Wolf was told last election time, when we took away his extension of emergency powers, that we, the people of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, wanted, wanted say over how our, our children are raised, how our families are run, and how we run our businesses. And he shouldn't be going it alone. Yeah, a lot of people are making that argument that these decisions should be made at the local level. Congressman Fred Keller, thank you so much for your time this morning. I appreciate you waking up early. Thank you. Of course.